This week on the Ritual Misery podcast, we gonna fall, guys. Wait, I that was that English? They don't speak English like that in Tacoma. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully you got some good omens. Uh, I I cast the spell of THPS one and two. Does that count? Is that good? I guess not. <laughs> Radio Ah, uh, hello and welcome to the Richard Misery Podcast, episode 255 for Thursday, the 27th of August, 2020. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their geeks celebrate. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their geeks celebrate all things friend. Uh, that, that was going entirely too smooth until that point. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and we have a guest. His name is uh uh, let's see. No, it's not turd. It's not God. <laughs> it's something in between those two. I'm sure there's a wide margin in most people's eyes. Uh, yeah. And I spelled it right in uh, my eyes. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the show, Deuce Gone Wild. Deuce hey, gone thank you for wild. having me. Really appreciate it. Um, now, see, here's here's the easy part. The easy part's getting on the show. The hard part is actually making our audience uh, care. Oh. oh wait, no, that's that's me and Kent's oh. job. Damn it, dude, we we're, we done <laughs> fucked this up. We're oh, like, man. usually I'm the only viewer, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow, and he fits right in. Yes, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, only our guests get to deprecate us that way. I, I mean, that's not right. Um, hey, dude, I just got right back from Tacoma. Everything is completely rusty. I got good news and I got bad news. Which one do you want first? Too bad you're getting the bad news. Okay. I I have literally no idea what I'm doing tonight. Like I'm hitting buttons, I'm smashing keyboards, hoping things work out right. This is not going to uh this is not gonna go well at all, ever. It's oh, it's just gonna okay. be bad. Which so I guess is normal. Or just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good right. news. Well, I'm still excited, dude, still good news. <laughs> <laughs> I will always love that, no matter what. From the beginning. <laughs> the good news is Summer is almost over. So How is that good news? Well, it means they have to put up with less of you, and I'll be here more often. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's good for the audience. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So Amos will be back full-time starting when? Uh, like two weeks from now, I think. Okay. It's, All right. Well, one of the first couple of weeks of September, I will be back full-time, and we'll just we'll start... We'll we'll start slinging podcasts out here like nobody's business. Slinging podcasts well, like they rock and Compton. It won't come out until like November or December, so we might already be back to a full time schedule. Then that's even <laughs> better Christmas news. Now you have a backlog to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Well, that, that is good news. Yeah. I am looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to a conversation tonight with Deuce. Uh, you're kind of a, a, a guest this long time coming. You've been watching the show for quite a while. We've been talking to you in chat for quite a while. Um, I'm super excited to talk to you about things like Fall Guys. What do you know about Fall Guys? Oh, yes. So Fall Guys, it's become really popular recently, right? Yeah, I, I, he's shaking his head, but I know he <laughs> plays it. I. Well, so Amos in the in the pre-show was dissing Fortnite, and he's never <laughs> played it. And I said that there's something better out there now, and uh, I was referring to Fall Guys Ultimate Knockdown, which is kind of the new free-to-play, massively multiplayer game. You, you understand uh, that I've only ever heard about this on TikTok, and every time I saw it, I just scrolled past it because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I literally have, have no fucking watched, idea what you're talking about right now. Have you ever watched Takeshi's Castle? Takeshi's Castle. It's yeah. the uh, Japanese game fucking show. Fucking love that show. It's, yeah, it's that. You're that. And it's uh, hilarious and super fun and addictive. Oh, this could I, be I bad. I always thought of it like Wipeout, too, where it's like... Well, w- Wipeout was... Trying uh, to get you. Yeah, w- Wipeout, the TV show Wipeout was always a ripoff of Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For, for those Takeshi's- that didn't watch the original, I guess... Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Takeshi's Castle is the, that's the American name for it, right? Right. Um, which is, let's see, I'm, I'm going to look it up right now in real time. Um, so, 
so there was a Japanese game show where like it, it's people getting eliminated from physical challenges. It's like right. massive. It's like a, it starts with a hundred people and then people get like knocked into water or knocked off of <laughs> like, things. And... Round one, it goes from a hundred people to like 30. Like, <laughs> this, yeah. this is not like a slow elimination. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And, uh, there, like so challenge one would be run state. through these doors. Some of them are doors, some of them are paper, and some of them are brick walls. If you make, <laughs> if you hit a paper, you're good. If you run through a door and you make it through, you're good. The rest of you, you're gonna hit a brick wall and probably hurt yourself <laughs> pretty good, and you're out. Yeah. Oh, so I just okay. So I just realized T- Takeshi's Castle is the the Japanese name. MXC was the MXC. American name. Yeah. Mo- most extreme challenge. Yeah. And uh, so they, you know, they dubbed it in English and they created like different characters for the announcers and stuff like that. Uh, uh, but it's the same thing. It's the same, same content well, and it's freaking hilarious. And they made a video game of it, basically. Here's one of the things that gets me about Takeshi's Castle. Um, people watch MXC and they're like, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so funny. And they make fun of them because they're, they're doing all these, these voices and this and that. Yeah, it's overdubbed. But yeah. it's not like the announcers in, in the original Japanese show are announcing a genuine event. They're not there as sportscaster, just like they're making the same jokes. They're doing all the same stupid stuff that, right, that right. the American yeah. overdubbers yeah. are doing. You know? It's it's almost as, as literal yeah. a translation the, the as you jokes? can get. Well, sure, sure. I mean, they, they, some of the things um, are more contextualized for an American exactly. audience, but yeah, it's basically it's basically the same stuff. It's, and it's, it's genuine. Awesome. So, Amos, I think you will, I think you will like uh, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockdown. Uh, it's free everywhere. Uh, PC, PlayStation, Xbox. It's everywhere. Um, Is this wait, in the Steam free? store? How come I paid twenty bucks for it? Uh, that's because that's, that's you bought it from Kent. That's why. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, I did use his affiliate hey, link. Yeah, I, was say, hey, I got <laughs> keys. I got keys. If you want a key, hook, you know, I'll hook you up. Just let me know. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what do you what do you think, uh, Deuce? Are you oh. are you a champion? Uh, so it took me forever to get my first crown, and it actually happened. At, I must have tried for hours on stream, trying it, trying it, trying it. Even off stream, just kept trying. I could not. I would get to the finals and just get dumped on. Mm-hmm. And one morning, well, actually this week, uh, I was taking care of my kid. He was on my lap. I was like, look, you want to see some jelly beans? And I was just jumping around. And, of course, I get my first crown, and he's just sitting here. I was like, come on. I couldn't I couldn't record this. I couldn't do anything with it. This is when it happens? All right. Well, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is a hilarious game. They just, kids just sit here and just laugh. They'd be entertained for hours. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. I I haven't gotten a crown. I I think I've made it to round three a couple of times. I am not very good yet. Uh, Well, a game that you've never been really good at, but we had a lot of fun playing was Tony Hawk's Pro (laughs) Skater 2. Yes. And now Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is being released on September 4th. So don't come at me on uh, Labor Day weekend. I will not be available <laughs> because I will. I pre-ordered it. I've played the first stage as Tony Hawk. It's tons of fun. The controls are amazing. Just using my my uh, Xbox 360 controller plugged into my Windows PC. Uh, graphics are awesome. Played in 4K. It's not upsampled. It's in actual 4K, and I I, I can't I can't wait. And multiplayer plus you can you can still build your own parks and share them online kent i don't know if you're going to get it for ps3 xbox 500 or whatever they're on now or if you're just going to run out and buy a pc any way you have to do it (laughs) this needs to be like we have to be streaming that that weekend like me and you against each other vis-a-vis a mano a mano and any other Really bad well, foreign language I can screw up and say. I don't think I'm going to dust off my PS3 to play it, but I I probably will get it for for PS4. Um, that that was going to be my next question. It's it's, it's uh, it is cross platform, right? So like you could be playing on PC and I can play on PlayStation and we can play each other. I have no idea. I don't care. I freaking hope so. Because if even if you're playing just just you playing on one side and me playing on the other, we can still just battle out 
by score because that's <laughs> right, going to yeah. happen. I've had this Absolutely. game on my 360. It's an old Xbox game. I had it on my 360. I kept my 360 just because of this game. And did, now did, it's coming out in current gen. Did you... Uh... Are they going to have the same cheat codes is the real question because I am not very good at grinding and I would just enable uh, that function and just go to town every the, there there is the uh, the option in the in the preview uh, there's the option to put perfect grind perfect you know all that other stuff um, but as Kent will tell you if you if you want to use the cheat codes you don't you're not at our level <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Like we are far too competitive for fucking cheat codes. Um, <laughs> I, I I may be the worst Tony Hawk's Pro Skater player ever, but when it, it's just like euchre, like you can't. I I don't care if I lose every game in the world, but I'm gonna win against Kent. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are always partners in euchre. <laughs> right, because we get too mad if one of us lost to the other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh man, you ain't never seen Kent oh, this- pissed until I slammed down a a. a a top three hand on the last last point of the game. Yeah. And there's right, left, and ace, buddy. What's up? Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. We're not playing anymore. <laughs> it's even better when it's like a left, right, nine, and it still clears the table. That's the yeah. shit. <laughs> that does happen. That does happen. Um, anybody, yeah, that's, and- anybody that's never played Euchre is now pissed that we're still talking about Euchre. I know, yeah, I, and I actually I have no idea what that game is. So I was just as lost. I was like, "All right, you I'll played, roll with you it." Though spades. you're in the military, you played spades, right? Yes, spades okay. and hearts. All right, so yeah, spades and hearts, and then euchre is the pro level of that type of game. Oh, right. pro level. Uh, imagine spades, except one of the objects of the game wasn't to talk shit. It was actually just to play the game. Mm. That's always the it's thing very that pissed me off about spades. Yep. Like ha- half of the I, game of spades is trying to talk shit and talk over the other person next to you. It's yeah, just it's annoying. That's oh, so that's my favorite part. Yeah, <laughs> right. Say, so yeah, so you would not be very good at Euchre. <laughs> it would totally depend on who you're playing with. If you're if you got the right crowd, like that is the funnest part. But if you got the wrong crowd, then yeah, fuck that. <laughs> you just get in their heads and you're like, yeah. mm-hmm. I wouldn't do that. Don't mm. do that. <laughs> nope. Then they hit you with a table talk. Table talk. Come on. All right, man. Oh, uh, come on. You don't want bags. Don't want bags. Come on. <laughs> pull seven, right? Oh, my God. I, I cannot tell you how many times I have had people pull nine, like just bid nine. Like, really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you can't call them nine. That's, come on. This is your first time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's in the rules. I can call nine. You know, you can. You you can, but whatever dignity yeah, but, you but had when you walked that? in here, like you should have left it outside. <laughs> you either got eight or it's ten for two, bro. Come yeah. on, I, yeah. <laughs> there is no in between. Yeah, it, it's better to to bid eight and get ten than it is to bid nine and get nine. Like, there's no <laughs> dignity in that at all. There's no, there's no saving that. Like you you bid nine and get nine, you you're a beer bitch for the rest of the night. <laughs> And if you bid nine and get ten, you don't even belong at my table. Like you're not even allowed to play anymore if you bid nine and get ten. Yeah, yeah, you're permanently banned. Yeah, you no, you can sit outside with the dog and look inside and wish you could come in here for some scraps of pizza. <laughs> like, I would say you could have made him permanent dealer too. Like, huh? That's it. All you do is shuffling cards. That's that's all you're allowed. Oh to no, do. he doesn't deserve shuffling to touch cards, my cards. Get he, my beer. Yeah, he or she doesn't deserve. I'm not letting them touch my beer or my cards if they bid nine and get ten. Uh. Uh-uh. Next step. Don't <laughs> breathe my oxygen. Yeah. Well. You know? <laughs> well. Well. All the oxygen's my oxygen, so I can't really say that. That'd be murder. But you're definitely not touching uh-huh. my cards or my beer. Leave it to an E and E troop to claim all oxygen. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing we got going for us. Leave us alone. Ninety-five percent of the work, right there. Ninety-five uh, percent of recovery from hangover. Charging batteries. <laughs> batteries are a crew chief job. You should, you should know better. <laughs> that battle will always continue, no matter what. Batteries and light bulbs belong to crew chiefs. Yeah. Everyone is watching. Is like, what are they talking about? Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, we went, we went from 
Yeah, anyways. <laughs> you, you went from a game you'd never played you to a game you'd never heard of to now a system that you don't understand. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Welcome right. to the Richard Misery so Podcast. Let's, <laughs> so let's switch to a TV show that you've never seen. Right. <laughs> Good open. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're on the right pace. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> So good. Have you have either of you seen Good Omens? I've seen a preview. It's That's so amazing. good. If you if you like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in any of its forms, you will like Good Omens. I guarantee it. It's uh so basically it's a it's a uh, what, six part I think six part television series. It's on Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the stars is David Tennant uh, from Doctor Who fame. Um, anyway, so he plays a, a a demon, basically a fallen angel, and then his foil, basically, is a good angel, and they go throughout all of history from creation all the way up until Armageddon, and it is hilarious. It is so good, and like I said, if you like the voice of Douglas Adams, he didn't have a part in this, but you can see his influence all over it. Like it's. It's his just me- wonderful. His, his his metaphysical voice, not his actual voice. Well, yes, of course. <clears throat> I, uh, that, rest- I have seen it and I loved it. It was it was very good. You watched yeah. the whole series while he uh, was describing it, dude. You're way too <laughs> long winded, Kent. A, you got to trim right, these down a little bit, man. Times. As soon as he said, I was like, "Good versus evil." I was like, "Oh wait, I saw I saw that like months ago." <laughs> oh. Man, my memory is trash. But yes, yeah, well, after he described out, it, it's actually been out for a couple of years now. So oh. uh, it's it's really really good. Um, I highly recommend it to any anybody listening to this. If you're if you're listening to us, I guarantee you're gonna list, you're gonna enjoy Good Omens. It's based on a book uh, from like 1991 Wait, or something did, like that. Did, did you say if they're um, listening to this or if they're enjoying this? <laughs> um, either one because if you get this far into an episode of Ritual Misery and you're not enjoying yourself that's your fault <laughs> <laughs> self-flagellation is a thing <laughs> yeah so um, I have one other one other show rec so uh, about a year and a half oh man almost two years ago now uh, Steph and I visited New York City and one of the things that we did was went to a Broadway show and the play that we saw was called The Play That Goes Wrong And it's essentially, it's like a play inside of a play. So it's a, it's a theater troupe that is putting on a play very poorly. It's a comedy, obviously. Um, It's, it's hilarious. It's a wonderful, wonderful show. I believe it's on off Broadway now. So if anybody gets a chance to see that once uh, COVID uh, stops canceling the world, um, I highly recommend it. Well, I just found out earlier this week that there is a television show with the original writers and original cast of the play that goes wrong. It's on Amazon Prime and it's called The Goes Wrong Show. And there's only a handful of episodes. I think there's six episodes of this as well. Uh, we're a few episodes in, and it's the same tropes as the play, where they're putting on a, a play, like a live a live stage production that's supposedly broadcast live to like the local. TV channel or whatever, mm-hmm. and something always goes wrong. Whether the uh, the cast is missing their cues, or there's something wrong with the set, or a, a costume malfunction, or uh, there's always something, and it's absolutely so hilarious. So it, it'd be like I this reckon. show if we had production value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> kinda, uh, yeah. But I, I recommend both those shows. Um, they're both on Amazon Prime. So I mean, who doesn't have Prime these days? Uh, go check them out. Good Omens and The Goes Wrong Show. Gotcha. No, that, that, I, I think both of these are probably right up my alley. Uh, Kent, did you ever watch uh, The Warrior Nun on Netflix? I have not watched that yet. Okay, it's dumb. So don't watch it? <laughs> no, no, watch do it. watch it. It was great. It was it was awesome. <laughs> uh, but you, but it, there's no there are no surprises. Like, you can guess every step along the way. Um, but just... Just very, very fun to watch. Yeah, no, no, sir. I can't wait for season two, which kind of gives a little bit away, but not a lot. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, 
Deuce, I got a question for you, man. Like it says yeah. here that that you're stuck at home with the whole family, and that you will elaborate. Yet you have not elaborated. Is this uh, is this more than just your your normal uh, uh, COVID bullshit that people are having to put up with these days? Uh, well, it actually relates directly with that. Uh, unfortunately, one of my kids had to. Uh, well, he is showing symptoms, so uh, in an abundance of precaution. He got tested, so now we're actually stuck at home for the next 10 or 14 days, which is actually lined up perfectly because it gave me an opportunity to come on here and hang out with you wonderful folks. Which nice, is, nice. I feel so like, you knew like it's you like were going to be on the Ritual Misery podcast. You were afraid you'd be called into work, so you decided to go ahead and get your kids sick. I admire the <laughs> dedication. I'm not, not sure about sure the ethics of it. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, which I mean, in you're, all fairness, you're not, is you're not my boss anymore. The, the, yeah, that, that, that's all in character of the show. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to put it down. Uh, yeah, but I mean, he's he's good. He's doing well. Uh, no one else showing symptoms, so that's good. But yeah, it's gonna make the next. Oh God, there's nine more days left. Uh, every day is getting longer and longer. Oh, uh, don't worry. Eventually, time just doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I was fortunate enough to s- still have a sense of normalcy as far as, like, work and taking care of all that. Yeah. So, but now it's actually like, all right, well, let's see what these uh, next two weeks have, have in store for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be uh, very interesting, especially with, oh God, I feel like kids have so much energy. It's ridiculous. And that's how I know I'm getting old because I'm that grumpy guy now that's like, hey, keep it down. <laughs> it's just like, come on don't, don't worry do it? it's a phase you'll eventually get out, out get go beyond that eventually you'll just get tired of saying that so you won't say it anymore you'll just get up and leave and go somewhere else i'm still waiting for my rebox to come in the mail <laughs> start spawning those around <laughs> Damn. wow Damn. so uh that was a deep cut <laughs> I'm a Skechers dude myself. Oh. Yeah, Re- Reebok, Reeboks are for Nike guys that gave up on on being cool. Skechers are for us folks that just didn't never gave a shit. <laughs> that would I make just, sense. I do have a lot of Nikes. I definitely. Used to wear <laughs> you called it so yeah. well. What, what, what do you wear, Kent? I said huh? I used to wear Skechers. I, I don't even know what I'm wearing now. It's like. Some You're not allowed brand. to give up on Skechers, dude. Like that, there's no well, phase were, past Skechers. I don't know what they are. They were, they were, oh, they're Adidas. My bad. <laughs> I, I got them on sale. <laughs> uh, no one told me how comfortable Crocs were until I tried a pair. Anything that ugly has to be comfortable. Oh right. my god, they will change your life. I'm my, telling you right now. My, my daughter I Amber has. My daughter Amber has fur-lined Crocs, like they're what? faux fur-lined Crocs. Like you, you, she puts them on, and it's like she's slipping into a house slipper. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I can't. I don't know. They're almost becoming the new Uggs. You know, I was like, you don't wear Uggs in snow, but people do it. People wear Crocs <laughs> everywhere. It's just like, what are we doing? It's silliness. Do you All wear right. socks? With your Crocs, uh, no, that makes it's like wearing socks with sandals. I guess it's like that, you don't. Do that. That's why I can't wear sandals or Crocs because I have to wear socks anytime I have footwear. Mm. I can't, I can't barefoot footwear unless it's like flip flops. I mean, they basically are shower shoes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, sh- slippers. Uh, Give him a shot. Give him a shot with socks. I'll try them on later, I guess, Chonklas. with socks, just to see how it is. Who knows the word chancla? Chancla. chancla? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was raised on that word. I can't say <laughs> nothing to my mom. She'd be like, get it, Houston? No. Nope. I'll start speaking Spanish all over the place here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those been, who don't know, by a, chancla. Uh, a chancla is a magical item owned by Hispanic mothers that find a way to reach their target regardless of their location. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't understand how accurate these things are. That's they must awesome. have gone through like special ops training or something because <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like she'll be on the second floor <laughs> playing that thing like a boomerang and it's just like, how 
what did that even? <laughs> oh, Fantastic. So, hey, Deuce, tell me about the micro center. What is the micro center? Oh, so before we uh, got locked down, <laughs> uh, I was at micro center probably from when they opened, like just a little shortly after. So I have to drive quite a bit to get there. But I, I must have been there for like 10 hours. It is ridiculous. Uh, all because I was just looking at computer cases because I'm a nerd. I was just looking at all the cases, looking at all the fan CPUs. I was finally upgrading my my computer to make my streams a little better. Uh, yeah, and I must have gone through every employee, even somewhere on their lunch. They're like, you, do you need help? Like, <laughs> like, how much time are you gonna spend here? And I was like, dude, this is like a Toys R Us for me. All right, like, let me just browse around. Like, are you closed? No. Tell me when you <laughs> are, then I'll start looking for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is like fries fries in las mm -hmm. vegas i did the same damn thing yep it's uh, it's just candy land for me yep. all right my wife will not go with me if i tell her hey i'm gonna yeah. go to micro center real quick she's like all right i'll see you tomorrow it's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay i guess yeah yeah i don't know i uh, i'm a sucker for for electronic stores i miss fries electronics so much if i was on the west coast i'd be living in one probably mm -hmm. that'd be the only reason to buy an rv just so i could live that close to one and it just it's gonna live in, he's gonna live just off the strip <laughs> his address is gonna be off strip in front of fries purple <laughs> rv with green right. truck the fourth light pole to the right yeah that's me yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. look for the faux grass <laughs> the, the astro turf out front in the parking lot that's me so uh, can we talk about grass for a little bit? Just um, um, it's not in the notes, but I just want to talk about grass. What kind of grass? I'm getting like fake I'm grass, getting... lawn grass, smoking grass. Like what? what? <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm qualified to talk about all but... three. <laughs> uh, talking about lawn grass. Come on, I'm a dad now. Well, oh. I've been a dad, but I'm an old dad now, and he, I care about my lawn. He just realized he's got an eight-year-old son. Like, ah, oh, shit, I'm yeah. a dad now. <laughs> when did this happen? It, it, it kind of hits you sometimes. You're just like, oh, wait, they look up to me. Oh, they're, they're definitely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be the oh, example. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm the example. Example for what exactly? Because it's like, I'm still a kid myself. Come on. Yep. Uh, but uh, I, I didn't realize how many different types of grass there were, though. Like, mm. you're talking about, like Kentucky grass, bluegrass. Uh, it's like Florida has their own grass and it's just ridiculous, uh, which makes me miss Alaska even more because their land is so fertile and I can't wait to go back and have some real nice grass up there. So I, I've got shitty grass at my house. You have in rocks. Mexico. That's I've, not grass. I've got That's stone. Well, I've got a little bit of grass and it's, it's crap Bermuda grass. grass. It's Bermuda all the, grass but all the grass like, you have is unintentional grass. <laughs> like it didn't even matter no. what kind of grass it is. It's like, oh shit, there's grass there. Damn it! How did that get there? <laughs> Start so, throwing a rock on it. <laughs> go I, away. So it's go away. Just guys. mention this because there's a. So I've been spending time in my yard trying to get rid of like unwanted weeds and and crap like that. AKA well, grass. I came across I came across an app that is like one of the coolest fucking things ever for old dads. It's called Picture This, and I just put a I just put a link in um, in the show notes, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the um, into the chat as well. So <laughs> this is an app called Picture This, and you snap a picture of a plant, and it will tell you exactly what it is and everything about it. Is this the one It'll that tell uh, you... Bart Bouchotts uses? Because I see him, I him on Twitter all the time posting pictures of stuff that he identifies all around France or wherever. Oh yeah, I, I don't even know. Um, but this, like, it'll tell you like how to maintain it or how to kill it if if you want to kill it. Mm. It'll tell you like it's poisonous. It'll tell you like all of the scientific information about it. Um, like absolutely everything that you want to know about that plant just from snapping a picture of it in your yard. I identified I think like sixteen different species in my on my property, oh, and. Yes. Uh, of grass. No, 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 no. All I have is Bermuda grass oh. when it comes to grass, and it's trash. It's trash grass. Um, but anyway, so check it out. It's not 
completely free. You get a free, a one week free trial to use it. So the day I downloaded it, I identified and cataloged everything that I have in my yard. And then I'm not going to use it anymore, probably. Um, <laughs> but it is super awesome and powerful. I just don't need to pay the Keep, um, keep in the mind, Kent uses exactly one paid app, and it's the one that I bought for him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. that's true. Hey, I mean, if you beat the system, there's uh, he's just playing the rules, that's all. And, and you I can't guess, be mad. I guess technically the patrons bought it for him, because I just took the money out of Ritual Misery Money. Yeah, oh. there you go. You're welcome. Yeah, which, yeah. Speaking of, which, <laughs> speaking of which, you can become a patron of the Ritual Misery podcast by going to patreon.com slash ritual misery. Do it now because it won't cost you anything. Why is that, Amos? Uh, well, the last time I checked, it was on hold until the coronavirus starts calming down, which, uh, I mean, like the jobs aren't back, but still somehow life is returning to the shitty normal that we've become used to. I don't know when we should cancel this whole cancellation thing. I'm really, we don't have a definite marker on when we're going to start charging for our patrons again. Uh, we just know that at some point that we will. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be sure to warn all of our patrons Yeah, uh, probably a month in advance. <clears throat> so, you know, Hey, if you, if you only joined up for the free stuff, uh, check out now. <laughs> Time to bail. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because the way my checkings is set up, like I gotta make sure there's money in it. So <laughs> yeah. Well, and what we recommend, what we recommend to people is, if you want to contribute on Patreon and and get all the perks of being a patron, like like uh, pre shows and post shows and exclusive interviews and things like that, um, just sign up for one dollar a month or one dollar. What is it? One dollar a, a month. month, right? Yep. We're on a monthly. Episode. Yep. Dollar episode, right? D no, buck a month. We went to monthly. Oh, yeah. Oh. We went to monthly now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So just sign up for a buck a month and you'll never get charged more than that. And if you're if you're afraid that you might somehow get charged more, whatever, you can always set the cap. Set a cap for no more I will give no more than a dollar to this show. You know, you don't you don't have I mean, to on the monthly model. There's not even an option. You just pay the month the dollar per month and it's done. Yeah. It's super so, simple. Um check it out. So, and if you want to contribute to the Ritual Misery mm -hmm. podcast financially, and you're already a patron, and you're like, what the heck? You won't take my money. Uh, go over to, to twitch.tv slash Ritual Misery and watch us live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, and then if, you can you can subscribe to us. You can give us bits. You can if do you all kinds insist of stuff on sending money our way for doing this show that we do and these things that we do and the community stuff that we do, uh, there are ways to throw money at us, PayPal and Twitch, things like that. Yeah, ritualmisery.com has all the ways. Yep. Um, uh, but yeah. Speaking of ritualmisery.com, when is the swag coming back? Uh, I've been waiting and I've been hitting F5 every day <laughs> on my shortcut to ritual misery because it still does not show up. I'm checking that now because that should, should already be, uh, uh, it should be a thing already. Yeah, pick up some swag. I love swag. <clears throat> RMP swag. I'm waiting for where, where are the stickers at? I want stickers. I just want to put stickers everywhere. Oh, our swag <laughs> shop is currently <laughs> empty. So it's there. We it's can, just there's nothing there's there's no doing. Hmm. We can probably help, help you with the stickers, Deuce. Hit us I, up. Show, I just want to show some RMP love to everyone. Oh, and by the way, Ken, I have <laughs> stickers. BioCal gave me a couple of stickers to give to you since I took all the BioCal stickers that he sent. Okay, awesome. They're in my wallet. I'll, I'll give them to you next time I see you. <laughs> yeah. When, oh, my God. That'll be like 2022. <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to send something through the post office right now. Uh, Jesus <laughs> Don't get me started on that shit. Uh, oh, my God. Go ahead, well, go ahead and hit that button there, Amos. Uh, This one? What time is it? Ken. He's all powerful. He's extraordinary. A genius. Game. I cannot contain myself. Ken's Game. Presented by Stephen Cogswell. I love that stinger. Hey, real quick. Uh, Stephen Cogswell, a couple episodes back, he was the only person to reply to us to 2222. So you had to be mm. a patron and you had to listen to one of the episodes all the way to the two hour, 22 minute and 22 second mark in order to hear us request that you send us an email saying two twenty two twenty two. 
We have since had one other person, and I can now lock it out permanently. If you didn't listen to it by now, you don't, don't bother because, well, Mark <laughs> Jelinek, our very own Mark Jelinek, has emailed us with the 22222, and he is now the second person to do so. So we will be sending out something to both of those people uh, for their efforts and for listening all the way through to the very end of a two and a half hour episode <laughs> for our patrons. So, um, yeah, that awesome. Thank you very much, Mark and, uh, Steven. And, uh, we will, uh, I'll be reaching out sh- shortly to get, uh, to get your, shut up, Alexa. Uh, I'll, I'll be reaching out <laughs> shortly to get, uh, to get the information. So that is, that is awesome. Yes. Thanks guys for that. That is, that is heroic level of fandom. I, I think we need to, we need to start doing that a little more often. Just putting secret messages in the, in the patron feeds. I uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna have to go back and watch all those again. <laughs> no, I just oh, turned. I just watched the VOD and it's like sweet. That that particular <laughs> one. That particular one was like 20 minutes after the VOD ended. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was secret. A, see, not now. I gotta go. Now I gotta go be detective yeah. on all the patrons only. You know, just just look at the patron posts. It's the it's the longest one. It's like it's literally two and a half hours long. Raw director's cut. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ryan johnson cut yeah yeah um all right dude you got a game yeah. or something man here let me do that again what time is it Ken? he's all powerful he's extraordinary a genius game i cannot contain myself Ken's game presented by stephen cogswell <laughs> awesome all right this week's game is called fight me at the pax terminal bro <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? So, so the original name of this game was Fight Me at PAX. And, um, you know, that obviously from the meme, like the Fight Me IRL meme. Um, I, I read Fight Me at PAX. Air Force dudes, we know uh, what PAX is. PAX is passengers mm-hmm. in military speak. Well, in industrial speak, really. But military folks know what PAX means. And the PAX terminal is, is basically like an air, just... Like when you go to the airport, you're at the PAX terminal. Uh, so I was making a little word. Yeah, yeah, the passenger terminal and the cargo terminal. We're, yeah, Both? roughly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, today is the start of a video game conference called, uh, what is it called, uh, Deuce? It's called Gamescom. Yeah, Gamescom uh, in Germany. It's, the, it's actually the largest gaming conference in the world and uh i was thinking about doing a quiz based on that wow. but i'm betting that amos has never even heard of it so <laughs> it was an eight hour live stream so there's a lot of <laughs> yeah so i just i, I the theme and i was like, let's let's do one on packs i know amos has heard of packs so let's do packs so deuce since <laughs> you're our guest would you like to go first or second uh, I will pass the torch on. I'll go second. I'll, You're going to go see. second. Deuce oh, goes boy. deuce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> now we're getting into some meta levels here. All right. Amos is going to be pissed because he's going to get this question. Yes. <laughs> what do the letters P A X stand for? Um. Players Arcade Experience. Eh, eh. You're very close. Uh, Deuce, do you do you happen to know what it is? I have no clue. Yeah, he can't steal. Oh, What's up? man. Uh, uh, I don't think this game's going to go so well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So PAX originally was a fan expo for the, the webcomic Penny Arcade. So PAX, P-A-X stands for Penny Arcade Expo. Oh, wow. I, and then it morphed into the, the video game conference I, that it is now. I mean, as soon as you said Penny Arcade, I was like, damn it, it's the Penny Arcade Expo. Like, I knew that deep down somewhere that I'd forgotten about. Yeah, all right. Half a, half Pro- probably several joints <laughs> ago. <laughs> so, Deuce, what year was the first PAX event? Oh. 42. I'll, 
I'll give you I'll give you a multiple choice. I'll be nice on this one. Uh, uh, Is it 2003, 2004, 2005 or 2006? That's that's, that's the worst <laughs> multiple choice ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is weird because also I thought it would have been in the eighties, uh, but uh, much newer. It's much because yeah. remember you, it started. I, you could have been like eighty three, ninety three, oh three, or thirteen. Yeah. It would have been just as much help. I think I think you just gave me a hint. I'm gonna go with oh three. Oh, I'm gonna play my cards right. Ah, uh, dang it! Eh, eh. I don't know oh, shit. Oh, he, you baited me. I don't, I don't know <laughs> anything. Switcheroo. <laughs> Wait, was the O three even an option? I just did. I just it was. It was yeah, I said I said O three, O four, O five, O six. Curtis the Rock said O five. He almost got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you were when when you're off. All right, Amos, your next one. Which city does not host a PAX event? Seattle, Boston, Sydney, or Melbourne? This Melbourne. game's going to go real well. <laughs> you said Melbourne? Yeah. You would be incorrect. Ah. Uh, I, I could have I sworn there was a SPAX. SPAX? Yeah. Uh, Sydney well, PAX. Just there's the just, there's just got to be a SPAX, man. That just sounds like... <laughs> there's no MPAX. <laughs> Impacts. All right. Um, well, well, okay. Deuce, your next question. Or the where, where is Pax West? Ooh. What city? I'm looking for city names now. Uh, where is Pax West? Can I? Uh, I'm gonna go. Say, I'll I'll be safe. I'll go with uh, Los Angeles. You're gonna say Los Angeles, and Los you're gonna be Angeles. wrong. Womp, womp. <laughs> it's Seattle. Oh man, you just gave it as an option too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. see, this, I love multiple choice tests, but only when I can go back and look at my previous answer. Right. <laughs> and then I'm yep. like, oh, I chose that one before, so it's got to yeah. be this one. I didn't choose that one that time, but I remember reading that, so it's got to be that one this time. Yes, yes. All right, Amos, where is Pax South? Uh, that'd be oh, see now, uh, nah, it's got to be <laughs> San Antonio, right? San Antonio yeah. is correct. We yeah. finally got a correct answer. Because it's the only <clears throat> it's the only city south of Austin. Yeah. <laughs> basically, basically. And I've never heard anyone from Austin complain about PAX South being PAX North. <laughs> That's right. All right. Uh, Deuce, where is PAX East? Uh, Boston? Ding, ding, ding. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Now right. he's reviewing oh, previous right. answers. <laughs> yes, I remembered my previous answers. <sighs> it's called strategy. Strategy. <laughs> this is how right, I won Amos. at Fall Games. <laughs> Amos, we, so we already established that uh, PAX West was in Seattle. Mm -hmm. What was PAX West formerly known as? I think in 2015, they changed the name of it to PAX West. What was it called before that? CPAX. <laughs> no. Uh, PAX Prime is what I was looking for. Oh, that's right, because it's in Prime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Deuce. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Where is Pax Australia? <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta refer to my previous answers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I don't remember if it was Melbourne or Sydney. Because aren't they both in Australia? I, it's like a 50 50 shot. Uh, Could be Brisbane going... as well. Yeah. Uh, or Adelaide. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with Sydney. Why not? You're you're gonna say Sydney when the answer to number three, which city does not host a pack? <laughs> oh dang it! it was, I don't know why, why did I say that? <laughs> Thank you, dogfish head. I blame it. I blame Pax dogfish. Australia is in Melbourne. <laughs> Told you it's in Adelaide. <laughs> yeah, not in Adelaide. <clears throat> not in Tim Hines' home. Um, uh, um, yeah. His backyard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 
yeah, that's that was <sighs> my job. All right, Amos, your final question for the win. No pressure. Where is where is PAX Unplugged 2020 scheduled to be held? Ooh. On the mm-hmm. internet. <laughs> so it's actually it's actually in a U.S. city. I, I'll give you that. It's uh, it may end up being canceled, but it is scheduled for November something or another in 2020, called PAX Unplugged. What city did they choose? And I will give you a hint. It's not a city that we have said thus oh, far. Dang it! There goes all my. Curtis said it's canceled, so the internet is right. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to say New York. That is really close, but incorrect. It's Philadelphia. Oh, that's a wrong anyway. area, though. All right, Deuce. This is the hardest question of the whole thing. All right, easy. GG's. What is the name of the upcoming online-only PAX event? Unplugged. Wrong. It's Pat's unplugged. <laughs> no, uh, that would be incorrect. Oh come on! Oh, that should have been it. <laughs> I would have, I would have given you half credit if unplugged was was part of the name, but it's not. Oh. The ridiculous title for the upcoming online only PAX event is PAX Online X EGX Digital. All right. <laughs> Uh, that's not EGWS. Uh, who, is that what? Who, who, <laughs> what the fuck is that? EGX Digital. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Were, were they like? Were they? Were they searching for a name? And some dude is like, "Fuck it," and just smacked his head against the keyboard and called it a day. It just. Yeah. <laughs> like you woke up in the morning. Yeah, and that's I, that's th- those are the letters that were stuck to his fucking forehead. What the hell is that? Um, but unfortunately, guys, you did not get the D. You did not beat the D. We didn't. We didn't come anywhere near the D. Yeah, yeah. You're still searching for the D. Uh, Forever yeah. searching. Actually, it's buffering right now. Just, just give it a couple years. <laughs> Pax Online X E G X Digital. No. X E G. No. Who thought of that? Your your application for. <laughs> Anything intelligent has been denied. <laughs> we are now stupider for having read that. <laughs> yes, yes. They probably use LinkedIn to hire someone. <laughs> like, yeah, he's definitely qualified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. LinkedIn. Man, uh, can I can I bitch about LinkedIn for a second? Send I it. have gotten about five fucking LinkedIn notifications a day for the last week and a half, and I have no idea why. Usually you, I get like one, maybe two in a week. Did you get I've mine? I've been getting multiple a day <laughs> for the last week or so. Just pinging uh, you? No, I'm kidding. No, I have it. <laughs> maybe, that was, maybe that was you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but now I am. Just like, oh, it's two o'clock. Gotta send, gotta send him a little Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> no, I that <clears throat> I've, been, I've been getting a lot of emails from just random places that I never wanted emails from, and I, uh, I, no, I, LinkedIn is one of them. It's just, oh, you think I'm home, so you just want to spam me with all the shit, so I'll read all the little things. No, no, I'm home, uh, so now I have more time to cancel all of your little, you know, unsubscribe right, all your right. little mailing lists. So, like, like we said a few minutes ago, Gamescom is starting tonight or has started today. Uh, what are you looking forward to deuce? Are, are there some, uh, some announcements that, that you already, you know, are coming that you're looking forward to? Yeah. So there's two Smoke things specifically that I was really looking forward to. Um, the first one required me to get permission from my significant other because destiny Almost cost me my marriage. So, oh. yeah, it, hey. it was bad. Like, it wasn't I was that addicted, good of a game. As addicted could get to Destiny. Uh, I'm talking about, like, I was... Every second I was awake, I was playing Destiny. Mm. And then I would go to work, take a quick power nap, back to Destiny. It was bad, bad. Uh, so, like, Destiny 2 came out. It was a lot better. 
uh, then Activision took it and it went to crap, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But they announced Destiny to Beyond Light, so it's looking like it's going to look pretty good. But I think the game that you two are more interested in is going to be the Star Wars Squadrons. Oh, yes. You guys looking to be some some pilots here in the future? Oh, yes. I, I <laughs> dude, okay. So I love the old uh, X Wing games, TIE Fighter, uh, Rogue Squadron. Like, those games were freaking cool. Star Wars Squadrons takes that to a whole new level. And I cannot wait to play this game. It looks amazing. Are you going to choose X or TIE Fighters? Um, ho- well, probably in the beginning, I'm going to go X Wing. Most likely, but I can see I'm probably going to run through both uh, both tracks. I think I'm, yeah, I'm I think going, most Star Wars fans really do go through both. I'm going to go Y wing. They got the Y wing. I like the Y wing. <laughs> well, I think it's a I think it's a, a a ship that you can fly at some point. I like the Y wing because uh, I think the way that they're doing like your main job, like your main AFSC primary AFSC, if you will, <laughs> is either X wing pilot or Tie fighter pilot. But you can pilot other other things as you go along, um, and then when you're when you're playing the multiplayer version, because uh, uh, I think during the one player version, I think you you can unlock ships, and then during the multiplayer, you can choose the ships that out of what you've unlocked. If I understand it correctly. Gotcha. Yeah, the Y wing. Uh, I really like the A wing quite a bit for surface fights, and um, mm. uh, the Tie interceptor always always seemed pretty interesting to me. Oh yeah, yeah. I've always liked the way that thing looks, if nothing else. Yeah, it's like a Tie Fighter, but like somebody actually pimped it out and called it a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. I don't know. That that's uh, gonna, that's gonna be pretty interesting. I I, just, I have all of the old uh, flying games. Rogue Squadron doesn't work on my on my on my control stick anymore because you know drivers. Um. Actually, it doesn't work because of Steam, but whatever. And but yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> right. Steam Steam doesn't like hardware. Steam hates hardware. Yeah, uh, half of my game library on Steam doesn't even work anymore after um, after Mac OS went sixty four bit. Right. Steam was like, yeah, yeah, never mind. I most of the games aren't going to work. Yep. Dang. Um, wow. But That's yeah, I, I, th- that that sounds fun to me. I will be interested to see how it runs on Ken's MacBook Pro. <laughs> yeah. yeah no i think that one's coming out for playstation as well right i think it's come for ps5 i think that's yeah, yeah. one of the big big so things that, driving the the ps5 early sales platform. yeah so that's probably going to be a ps5 uh purchase for me uh are, are you actually gonna you guys buying a ps5 or a new xbox day one um oh. <laughs> probably not day one uh, but I, there's very little chance that I won't own the PS5. Oh, funny story. Oh, God, I have a few of these. For the PS3 launch, the very first day it came out, I camped out at a Toys R Us with my now wife. At, she wasn't my wife at the time. Poor for now. her sister to buy a PS3. I couldn't afford a PS3 back then. But I camped out for like two days in front of this Toys R Us just so she could get a PS3. Mm-mm. I am. I'm not doing that again, Mm-mm. especially for a PS5. <laughs> right, I got a PC right. now. Uh, I'm sticking with that. Look, look, my PS4 is just sitting here. It doesn't even. No, no cables are hooked up to it. I feel so bad. <laughs> it was a streaming machine, but Fire Sticks are just phenomenal. <clears throat> I I have two PS4s, one with and one without the uh, the, the the special Star Wars logo on it, and. Ooh. The one with the Star Wars logo is my PS4, and it hasn't been turned on in probably a year. That's the version that I have as well. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, the all the new consoles are coming out. Um, I'm just being a nerd again, but NVIDIA is coming out with new graphic cards, and I'm that's what I'm really looking forward to. September 1st, I'm going to see what they come out. Uh, is uh, this going to be more than just a slight iteration, though? Because the tw- 2000 series was basically like the 1000 series plus shaders. <laughs> or plus ray tracing, really. 
Yeah, ray tracing. That was a big thing. <clears throat> and and thus far, the only game I've seen that uses ray tracing to its full capability is Minecraft, which didn't need fucking ray tracing. I don't. Why? Why is that? Too, why does that game have ray tracing? Oh my god. I will never understand oh. how, why Minecraft is as system intensive as it is for what it is. It's a bunch of blocks. What it's... are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Speaking of system intensive, why why are some games almost 300 gigabytes? Mm. A really popular game right now, Warzone, Call of Duty, 300 gigabytes. Are you kidding me? Like uh, yeah, my that SSD is, that only holds insane. that one game. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is absolutely <laughs> insane. Uh but w- yeah, I'm pretty excited for the new graphics cards. Uh, especially because I'm running a 1050 Ti, which is really old and really small. I'm running but... a 1070 in in my my streaming machine. Mm. So and Cat has a Mac, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> running a um, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, did you notice during the middle of this? My Windows PC had an update <laughs> yeah. in the background. Oh, is that what happened? Of course. Yeah. Of and it course started it doing it. So I was like, are you kidding me? You well, ruined it. You, you, <laughs> you, you, had, you had a bunch of Ritual Misery stuff like going off in the background back there. Then all of a sudden, I saw a crash screen. I was like, yeah, that fits. <laughs> that was like classic. Oh, Thank that you, was Windows great. Update. Yep. Yeah, that's, that is so standard. Good Lord. That, that's the problem mm-hmm. I get for plugging that one into the internet. But whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, GamesCon, Destiny 2, Beyond Light, Star Wars, Squadrons. Two games I really look forward to. Excellent. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, so GamesCon. Guys, check out GamesCon if you're not already with uh, all kinds of, of news being released about new games and things coming out. Um, I saw something earlier. I don't know if this was from GamesCon or not. Uh, but uh, Steph, if, if you've got, if you guys have been keeping up with the RMP extras, one of the things that we've been doing is Steph has been playing The Sims Four, and we're doing like a basically like a chat realm um, asylum where you know who gets out alive kind of thing with a lot of the characters mm-hmm. from our chat. And um, anyway, so Sims Four news came out today. There's a Star Wars expansion pack coming out. Um, and I watched the little the little like promo video for it. It actually looks fun as hell. Like this might be a fun game. Like if you, even if you don't play The Sims, like pick up The Sims just for the Star Wars pack. It looks super fun. But but then again, I'm a I'm just a big Star Wars nerd, so who knows? You're you definitely just not the only Star Wars nerd. You, you just this described yeah. all The Sims games to me. Like they all look fun. <laughs> right? I I I hate playing them. But they I look. I, I enjoy watching Sims. other people play them. I don't like playing them myself. Yeah, I was pretty big into Sims one and two, and then yeah. I, I just kind of dropped off after that. I just haven't played. But well, yeah, I, I, I picked I, up. I picked I up really Sims two play. after watching you play at your house in Okinawa, oh. <laughs> and then I took it home and I had a small family. I had like like a, a dude and a chick, and then like uh, another dude. I think was like in, in another house, or whatever, and I oh. couldn't. Like I was like, I there's not enough time in the day. For all these people to do all the things they need to do, <laughs> it, it, no, you know, you, eventually it, either you they're too slow or the clock is too fast. <laughs> I had a system. I like, was I was really good. At I, I was going good. I had like three <laughs> days in a row where my Sims were just on point. They got all the things done they needed to do, and then I realized that none of them had shit or ate in three days, and one of them died. So I was like, <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> that, that explains why no, I had time to get everything done. You had no time for anything else. No, they take oh, half a man. game day just to eat. And it's like, well, there's no, I, there's nothing like your lunch break was an hour long. You took seven in-game hours to do it. I, I don't know what to do for you now. <laughs> you made a sandwich and it took half, half a year. Oh, <laughs> oh man. A, so I we're coming up on the. I was just going to say, we're coming up on the hour mark, and I know this conversation is going pretty strong. What I would encourage people to do, if they want to hear all of the conversation that I'm sure this is going to keep going, go to bit.ly slash rmpdiscord. Every week, we're doing a a post-show 
get together with all everybody in chat and everything. Our guests show up in there. Um, hopefully, Deuce is going to join us in there so we can finish oh, telling some of his stories. Um, um, but yeah, so since we are up against it, do you have any uh, last minute things you want to say to the primary audience, Deuce? Uh, well, yeah, actually, just in general for the Diamond Club, uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, I was an outsider coming in, and you guys just brought me in like family, and it is awesome. You guys are just a great group of people, and I love hanging out with all of everyone that does a, a stream of any sort. So thank you guys for the experience. It's really been awesome. That's why I also put the the Diamond Club logo up there. Yep. Yeah, if you've seen yeah. it scroll. <laughs> yeah, Diamond Diamond Club is is quite inclusive and welcoming. Um, as long as you don't show up being an asshole, you're going to be welcomed with with open arms. And How they let you're Anderson. an asshole? Like, there's still a chance. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, look at me. Well, every now and then they'll screw up and they'll let some assholes. Do it, but... <laughs> right, oh um, damn. Where can people where, find you, man? Like, where, where can people find you on the old interwebs? Uh, so I actually recently just started streaming. Uh, wanted to, I just like having fun streaming. You can find me at Deuce Gone Wild on Twitch or uh, Facebook Gaming if you are using that platform since Mixer is dead. Uh, on Twitter, I'm Deuce MR2 because I love working on my car and it's a piece of Deuce. Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is mainly where my tag came from. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much it. But if I can plug something in is I am like my stream right now, uh, any proceeds that go to my stream are all going straight to the wounded warrior project. Mm. So, uh, as veterans yourselves, you know, there's a lot of vets that often go, they get left behind, unfortunately, or they fall through the cracks of the system. So. Wind of War Project is is a, a great program that a fellow, a couple of friends of mine, we all use it. We put it in our streams all the time. So if you want to donate 50 cents or anything, it doesn't matter. It's all appreciated and it's all going to help our, our veterans uh, go back to somewhat a normal life as much as they can and get the help they need. So that would awesome. be my one plug I, if I could get in. That's the one. Yeah, well, absolutely. So everybody go over to twitch.tv slash Deuce Gone Wild and watch Deuce play game. Well, tell what what are you playing these days? Uh, so I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys, a lot of Call of Duty. Of course, uh, yep. Yeah, and then uh, there's, oh my god, there's a, if there's one game I could recommend right now, it is Among Us. It is $5 that you will not regret paying for. Nice. It's uh, it's like a little murder mystery game where one guy is like an imposter and you have to do some tasks and you have to try to figure out who's killing everyone. And like we just jump on Discord, we talk, we uh, we uh, we have a lot of fun, I guess, killing each other <laughs> in game and then trying to figure out who's lying and who's not lying. It's uh, it's, it's a great game. Right on. Um, so, yeah, once again, that's twitch.tv slash deuce gone wild. Go check him out. Uh, contribute. All of the proceeds right now are going to the Wounded Wounded Warrior Project. I was trying um, to do the fancy little thing where you hit the like slash link in the chat and it sends a profile link thing in Twitch. <laughs> and I can't. I I don't I don't I don't know. I, we don't Twitch well. I, <laughs> I, and at, I, I that's probably what good. my streams are going to be forever set up as too. It's like I don't, it's like I don't, I don't need the money. I'd rather it go to someone who will actually use it. I just enjoy streaming and have, love love having fun interacting with people. So, excellent. Spot, yeah. um, how about you, Amos? Kent? Where can people go to oh. <laughs> hear, see, read, and find you? I mean, if they're so inclined yeah. to, Our, so I know if they're so inclined. Uh, RMP underscore Del Noche on Twitter. Pretty much everywhere else. Almost everywhere else on the internet, I'm either Del Noche or Del Noche 77. So look me up on your platform of choice. What about you, Amos? Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E, pretty much everywhere, unless you want to throw a 77 at the end of it because I'm old and that's just what Gen X did. We just threw a year back there like nobody else fucking had that year. Um, <laughs> you can also find the show uh, on Twitter at Ritual Misery, R A T U A L M I S E R Y. And join our Discord, bit.ly slash RMP Discord. 
Oh, yeah, man. Find these links in more ways to support our show or give us feedback over at RitualMisery.com. Uh, that would be a thing you could do. Uh, we are live every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.tv slash RitualMisery. And thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music for our shows because we use them for everything. Yep. D- soundtrack of the internet. Yep. That, Thanks, that is true. I started using some of his stuff too, and I also include him in my uh, my my thank you thank you outros and stuff. All right. Thank oh, you for yeah. listening. <laughs> for Kent, for me, for you, this has been your Rich Misery Podcast. See ya! <laughs> Damn it, Deuce, we were on schedule. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I kept I kept moving into random stuff. I was like, oh, that's a great dang it. I even Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y. Now you can talk. I just shut him <laughs> down. I was like, Psh. I was like, okay, I think they're telling me to shut up. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, everybody. RMP.showbot.tv. Cruise on by there. Let's pick a show title. Absolutely. <laughs>